Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone. Good morning, third graders. My name is Mrs. Nix, and I am so excited to be here and help you to become amazing thinkers, readers, and writers. So this morning, my kids were not going to let me not share one of their favorite stories. They love all of these, Diary of a Wimpy Kid. Have you read any of these yet? They are really hilarious, very silly, silly. But what I think my kids loved the most, and I don't know if you guys can see it in here, but they do a lot of very silly illustrations that the author is actually telling, talking to you, the reader, and showing you some of those things in the book itself. So if you enjoy something like that, like my kids do, then I encourage you, check out Diary of a Wimpy Kid. This one happens to be book 11, so there's 10 other books before this one that you could be reading at home. Now, if you're looking for them and you go, oh, I'd love to check that out, there are several ways that you can do that. You can visit your local uh, county library and check it out there, or go online and check it out with Sora. Now, I wanna talk to you real quick about Sora because we have some students in Fresno Unified that have been doing an outstanding job of checking out their books on Sora. We've been counting down our top checkouts all week long. We've looked at Hoover High School, Manchester, Thomas, and who's in that lucky two spot? I think it's the same school from last week. Do you guys know who you are? That's right, Viking Elementary. Go Warriors, good job. So I wanna say hello to all of my friends over there at Viking. You guys are gonna be amazing readers and writers. Now, speaking of being amazing readers and writers, I would love to hear what it is that you are reading about. Could you write me a quick little note and send it down here to the PBS station and tell me what is your favorite book that you're reading right now that you would want to share with all of your friends across the whole district? I'd love to share it here on PBS. If you do that for me, I will send you one of these fun activity books. There are all kinds of games and puzzles and coloring, all sorts of fun things. So if you send that, I'll make sure that this gets in the mail for you. Don't forget to put your address on your envelope though. All right, are you ready to start our day? Let's get going. So we're gonna start out by warming up our brains, looking at those high frequency words right here. We've been practicing these all week long, so I know you know the drill. So let's go through and let's read them together. Here we go. Jump, it's, just, keep, no, kind, laugh, light, long, and that's right. It's either live or live. It depends on the sentence. Okay, today we're gonna look at laugh, L-A-U-G-H, and light, L-I-G-H-T. Now, laugh goes with some of the digraphs that we're gonna get into today. We've been practicing this all week, right? That G-H at the end says f. Good, okay. Help me put these in a couple of sentences. Can you please turn the mm off? Or the funny dog made me mm. What do funny dogs do? Did they make you laugh? There you go, right there. And can you please turn the light off? I wish sometimes that my kiddos would remember to turn their lights off. Do you ever forget to turn your light off? It happens. All right, so let's switch gears just a little bit and talk about some of these digraphs. We've been practicing these all week long, but it's, it's a good review. Trains our brains so that we're able to, when we get to those longer words, find pieces that we recognize. So digraphs are when a pattern, a, a pair of letters or a gr small group of letters get together and they make their own sound. I love starting with the cheese card because most of the time we always wanna say it's just two letters together, but the cheese card is gonna prove us wrong because there's a group of three. So when we have CH or TCH, we're gonna say ch, ch. 
like in this word right here. Read it with me. Arch. Good. And then we have whale. W-H says wa. Like in the word wheel. And then T-H, the thumb card, says th. Now that's a, that's a breathed sound. So there's actually two sounds. So we have th, like in think, but it can also say Th, which is a voiced sound. You can kind of, your tongue will vibrate when you are doing it correctly. So than, than, good. And then SH says sh, like shell and shown, good. And then NG, the sing card, says ng, like in ing, ang, ong, ung. What's this word? Wrong, good. And then we have our fire card. Now, remember that F is not a digraph, but PH is a digraph that says F. But in third grade, I want to talk about one more. GH at the end of our word also says F, like in fire. Let's look at it in, in a word. Rough, rough. And then our last one is the jump card, which says J. So DGE is our, our diagraph here. So anytime you see DGE at the end of a word, we're going to say J. So badge, badge. Okay, I've got two words right here for us to practice sounding out. So do we see any of those digraphs? I see the SH right here at the end. So I also see that this is a compound word because I see two words right here. Do you see this word right here? If I cover it up, do you see hair? Yeah. Do you see that word? What is it? Brush. Put it together. Hair brush. Do you see how quickly you were able to read that? Good job. You're training your brain to see all of these patterns with these letters. Okay, looking over here. Ooh, I see a suffix. So I'm going to cover it up, that ing. Cover it up. Do you see any of our digraphs that we've been practicing? You see that sh right there? So we have finish. Put that suffix back on. What is it now? That's right, finishing. We're finishing our week up, right? Good job. Okay, so we looked at our digraphs. Now let's talk a little bit about open syllables. Open syllables help us to decipher what sound a vowel makes in a word. So, last week we talked about closed syllables and that closed syllables have the short vowel. Now we're gonna talk about open syllables. Open syllables have the long vowel sound. When I say open, here's an example like in the word tiger. So I've got two vowels. My consonant belongs to my second syllable, tiger. That's going to tell me that my vowel is an open, vowel, it's an open syllable and my vowel is going to be a long vowel. Okay, let's look and see what does that look like in real time. Oops, and I dropped my pin. Okay, open syllables. I'm gonna come down here, and actually I want my black pen. Here we go. Okay, I'm looking here, I'm training my eyes. Do I see my vowels? I see two of them right here. And I see, I'm gonna just put a little line under them so that I can remember that those are my vowels. And then here I've got one consonant that's in between. That consonant, I know I'm gonna draw and split my syllables right before that consonant. So that means my beginning syllable is actually an open syllable. So I'm gonna have a long A sound. So if I sound it out, I can say basic, basic, good. How about this one? Oh, I bet you kind of know what this word is. This is even better when you get to see it with a word you know, right? It's got two O's, those are both vowels, which means I'm gonna split it right before the B and there's an open syllable. Long vowel, ro bot, robot. Good job. Okay, let's look and see what some of these digraphs and open syllables look like when we're practicing them in class. So you might have a worksheet that looks something like this. You're gonna have a bunch of words that are up here and it says, read the words in the box. If the word has a digraph, write it under the correct spelling. If it doesn't have a digraph, Cross it off with an X. We're gonna do just a few of them together because I know that you're gonna practice these in your classroom. So help me do a few of them. What do we have here? We're gonna just go down. Whistle, 
Does that have a digraph? It does, and it's right here. Good, so if I were to write it on my paper, oh, look right here, they made a mistake on our worksheet. It should be a WH, did you catch that? You guys are so smart. We could add whistle right here to our list. All right, and then I'm gonna circle it because we've done it. How about watch? Does that one have a digraph? It sure does, it has the TCH. So where would watch go? Right over here. Do you see how we're able to sort them so quickly? Good. How about willow? No, that one doesn't have a digraph. So we would put an, eight, an X over it. See how easy that was? Okay, let's look down here and practice a little bit with our open syllables. So it says, read each sentence, circle the two syllable word with one or more open syllables, and then write the syllables on the line. Okay, so we're looking for open syllables. Does the parade begin at noon? Ooh, did you hear that long vowel sound? That's a big clue. I see it right here, begin. That tells me that this right here is my open syllable, so begin at noon. So I'm gonna circle it, and then I'm gonna write my two syllables on the line. So you would go be, begin, something like that. Just like what we've been practicing. You guys are doing outstanding. If we have time, we might do this a little bit more tomorrow. The last thing that I wanna finish up with are similes. Similes are when the author uses um, some creativity when they're uh, using their words. And they're gonna compare two things and they use the words like or as in the sentence. So for example, your smile is bright as the sun, right? Now, is your smile really as super bright as the sun? Probably not, but the author is taking a little bit of creativity to make it seem like you have a really bright smile. Okay, so help me decipher another one right here. You were as brave as a lion. So what does it mean to be as brave as a lion? Does it mean that you like lions, that nothing scares you, or that you ran away in fear? You helped me with this a couple of weeks ago and you told me that it's nothing scares you. So here's my next question. What was the author comparing in here, in that simile? Well, the braveness of a lion in comparison to your braveness, right? Those are the two things. Do we compare ourselves to lions very often? Not really, but do you have a picture in your mind as to what that might feel like to be as brave as a lion? They're pretty brave. That's awesome. So. I wanna say thanks for hanging out with me today as you're getting ready for school. Remember, you are responsible for your learning success. So listen, ask questions and share your ideas because together we can do so much more. Can't wait to see you back here tomorrow at PBS. Have a great evening and I'll see you then, bye-bye. Good morning to a brand new day. Time to learn and games to play. Learning things is so much fun. Learning is good for everyone.